Well, 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 it begins on round one with a double Maxman buy along with Elite Maxman stat. What is up, the guys? This is Corbin. Hey, man, if you enjoy what we do on this channel and you want to help to support the videos, easiest way to do that is to click the link down below at the top of the video description. Click on that promo link, sign up to raid. It helps us out a hell of a lot, man. Take 60 seconds and it's free. Hey, man, let's get into the replay. This one is submitted by Mr. Serg Heistu, obviously, is playing some Maxman Specialist. And, um, yeah, unlike usual replays, I thought I'd start off from round one, because this man starting with round one and continuing, as far as I know, for the rest of the game, buys nothing but Maxman. And you know what? I'm here for it. Let's see how this absolute Giga Chad gets on, shall we? Okay, makes very, very short work of the chef. Okay, Maxman are renowned for being very, very good at killing chef, right? Oh god, I'm in a Discord call. Sorry about that, boys. Oh god. I, I know everyone is checking their Discord right now. Let me go ahead and just uh, fix that real quick. Okay. How embarrassing. Fixed. Sorry about that to anyone who's sitting in Discord and, you know, tabbed out for that one. Oh man. Streamer mode has been enabled. Okay, do we get this building kill? Of course we bloody don't. That would... Not the best. Oh god, really not the best opening round, actually. Only 139 supply from opening round. Meanwhile, green is rich as a goddamn Bobby Kotick over here, and actually takes the first round win. Okay, okay. Wow, dude. The ice throwing a melting point at us right away. At least it's only level 1 Rhino, I think. Is it level 2 or level 1? That's a level 2 Rhino, Jesus. Okay, so we go ahead and pick the Rhino from the unit round. What are these crawlers doing here? Sick heist. Yeah, you better recruit some Maxman, dude. That better be the last chaff I see this game, dude. What loadout are we running on these Maxmen? That's actually quite important to cover too, right? Okay. Zero utility. Maximum damage. Huge god tier range. We've already clicked the uh, plus damage button. I like it, man. I'm behind. I'm behind this. I'm invested. We've got a lot of uh, wasps here to deal with, sadly. I also love the... <laughs> I just noticed this, but I love this almost the most. That I swear to God, look at look at the line of maxman we're building here. Something tells me, I'm just just a prediction now, that this line of maxman is just gonna build in this direction. And that's it. We're not gonna put maxman over here. Oh no. That's not gonna happen, man. We're drawing the line. It's nice and orderly, okay? It's actually gonna work out as well. We still could actually win this round. Um and that's just what's happening, okay? Sticking to the code. And the formation is more important than anything in this game, okay? Can we steal this? No. But we can kill this, right? No, dude. Why did, oh, why did you just reload a bit faster? Okay, we still actually have this. Okay. Okay, no, we don't have this. Can we steal this? We can never steal anything. How much cash do we have? Another kind of mediocre cash round, man. Hmm. Okay, look at the levels on the Maxman already, though, dude. Do we get, like, extended Maxman range here or something? We don't. Okay. We go for the skip because, you know, Sergeist is already thinking to himself, man, we got we got a lot of we got a lot of upgrades to pay for here. And he's also got to fund his addiction to just spamming elite recruited Maxman. He can't afford to be picking up, what, nano repair kits and stuff? Are you kidding me, dude? And as predicted as well, we're just drawing the line of Maxman here. <laughs> Thankfully, the AI is kind of playing into our hands a little bit by rushing down this one side, which is just stupid of the AI. In fact, dude, isn't the AI supposed to build itself though that like somewhat count as what you're doing? At least gives you like a little bit of a challenge. What's this? There's no chef. There's just no chef, dude. Like these maxmen are gonna butcher these steel balls. Go, oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's an absolute firing range. Which again is great. So many levels for these guys, so much free experience. Level 2 Steel Balls over here as well. They're also going to get it. Hup, hup, hup. Very good. Can we get some building kills this time, though? We could really, really use a nice, uh, juicy supply round here. Very good. Losing the building is going to be quite devastating. These missiles could sting. Oh, Oh, God. Shoot ha! Uh, we're not going to get the building kill over here either, are we? Okay, you know what? Not quite as bad as the last round, at least. 239 supply? That's alright, man. If we can just finish off in, like, second place, that'd be grand. This healing rhino doesn't give a damn about these guys. This is an AI melting point, though. Let's skip ahead. 
Oh my god. Okay. The AI does win in the end. Yeah, hey man, before we get into the item selections right here, some of y'all may already know that I run a Raid Shadow Legends channel as my day job. Man, it's kind of crazy as hell. But running that channel is what's given me the stability on YouTube in order to blast videos on this one as well. So if you want to support me, you enjoy the videos here and you want to see more of them, the best way you can support me is by clicking on the promo link down below at the top of the video description, man. Create a Raid Shadow Legends account using that link and that helps to support me directly. Dude, it takes like 60 seconds of your time. It also kickstarts your Raid account with a whole bunch of free starting freebies and hell thanks to anybody who does decide to do that it really really helps man okay what could we possibly buy here boys and where could they be positioned i just can't think man smart maxman oh my god dude the game has just gifted you a win are you kidding me that is so rigged i'm not gonna lie man who else picked smart maxman somebody else picked it uh was it green I swear somebody else picked it. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, oh, what am I talking about? There, we, there it is, man, on red. Ooh, so red. Oh, my God. Red is also going a hell of a lot of Maxman as well. Oh, God. Am I going to have another dilemma here? Where I don't actually know who submitted the replay. I'm going to stick with Seg Heist for now. Oh, God. It's another one of those, man. It's another one of those. Now, I'm going to stick with Seg Heist. I think he's off to a much, much better start. Let's go with Seg Heist, man. He's already invested so much into these guys, right? It's gotta be him. It's just gotta be. Wow, man. I can't believe that Smart Maxman came up. That's so big. I mean, that's insane, really. Kim, okay, Crawlers will get all 10 to toast here, but we have the range and the firepower to quite easily dispatch uh, even this tanky-ass Vulcan on this side. No problems there. As soon as the Vulcan drops... Last of the fangs go down, no problem. Should be able to even get both buildings here, I think. I think, unless these guys rush in and steal it. Nice. Handled, man. Wraiths absolutely stand no chance. Get the building over here as well. Okay, man, things are looking good now, dude. Oh my god, please get it dead, though. Oh boy. Oh god. So we're going to lose building over here any second now. This could get kind of bad if they don't get this rhino dead. Oh god. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Wow, they actually still live. The rhino's base died at exactly the same time, but another building dies behind us as well now. They gotta make short work of those guys. This rhino's now full health. It's full healing. It's gonna take combined, uh, combined firepower to bring it down, and oh god, it's whirlwinding. They're not gonna get to do it. Oh, god damn it. I thought that was it. I thought that was really going to be the first round win, man. But look at that, dude. Almost every Maxman gets to level up. These guys are going to be primed and ready. We're going to sell that Sabertooth instantly, man. Who cares about Sabertooth, right? The most obvious sell I've ever seen in my life. Massive upgrades for every Maxman, dude. Wow, is it worth just... Can we even afford? Yeah, yeah, we can afford to elite Maxman right now. I mean, it's worth pushing the button, but we're just pushing the numbers of Maxman right now. One more spot here. Is this guy going to start over here again? Okay, he's going to go here. <laughs> he's going to draw another line of Maxman, dude. That's it. That's the play. We actually have the supply right now to hit Elite Maxman. I mean, quick reload. I was, I swear to God, I was about to say, looking at how much chaff is up here, quick reload is probably better for this round, for just getting a lot of supply and just winning this battle against the AI. I tell you what, Maxman are one of those units, man, with a loadout like this... I feel like they can sort of kill anything. Um, once you get, like, a lot of maxmen like this with quick reload and superior range, and they're, like, level 4, level 5 plus, they start to hit this critical mass where they can just kill everything. You know, they're one of the few units in the game I think that can really do that. Like, I don't think there's anything <laughs> that can actually take on a full army of just max-upgraded maxmen. I might be wrong about that. But hey, man, they're going to slaughter their way through the small Stang blobs here. Still a really good amount of Maxmen still left alive. And look at the experience on them. Oh, man, that's the sauciest thing. Okay, a lot on this side didn't level for whatever reason, but a lot of guys on this right side. Oh, yo, 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 is all I can say to that. Also going to get the building kill over here and over here and slaughter this nerd, uh, nerd. No problem. Actually, I don't know if we got this building, but we tried and that's what uh, that's what matters. Ned going down over here. That's a lot of supply too. Okay, let's speed along now. It's just green and AI that's left, man. Oh, God. 
This goddamn rhino, this goddamn nerd, dude. It's still being a huge pain. Nice. They take it down like an Urukai Berserker. Right before it reaches them. And we actually take a round win, man. Not enough to take the lead. That's okay. Alright, man. Look at the goddamn levels, man. Dude, that never stops looking glorious. Oh my god. Wow, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me, dude? I mean, everyone's gonna go for it, but I feel like it benefits us so much more, right? Benefits us so greatly here. We have the supply here to go into Elite Maxman if we want, but we'll pass up on upgrading some guys. And we also won't be able to afford to uh, Elite Recruit more Maxman. I think just go for the upgrades. Yeah, looks like we're just gonna dump everything into the upgrades. We could still borrow money and go for Elite Maxman, but I don't think it's I don't think that's the I don't think that's the play, man. Just keep buying guys for now. Definitely a case to be made for pressing enhanced range uh, this round. To almost act as like a stand-in. Like a poor man's uh, elite maxman just for one round. That could work. We're actually against mass shielded wasps uh, this round on the, on the AI front. Which could get a little bit spicy. How's everybody else doing? Okay, so green is fit to take a huge amount of fortress, uh, experimental fortresses. Half a million health on this guy. Don't think green has very good units to handle that, honestly. Like, if uh, if these fortresses get to target as rhino, I pre I'm pretty sure they turn it into powder in like two or three shots. Okay, let's see how we do against the wasps first and foremost, shall we? I mean, it's rather glorious. It's rather tight. Wraith's also kind of not standing a chance. This is what I mean, man. Quick reload Maxman, dude. When they have that crazy range superiority. I mean, they would get overwhelmed by a spam of shielded wasps, obviously. But, I mean, they're all going to level again, right? A lot of them already have levels ready to go. <laughs> like, already. And the round is still ticking, really. Gonna stop this Rhino from getting the building by ninjaing ourselves. You love to see it. Sadly, these two maxmen over here, probably not long for this world, but the absolute squad rolling out on the right side. Striking terror into the hearts of everybody. The two on the side holding out just for now, but as soon as these guys get to connect, it might just uh turn a little pair ships. They get the Phoenix dead. Oh my god, they're gonna bring down the Overlord as well. Maybe? Ooh, not quite. Okay, so we are gonna lose this building. Rather sharpish. Big Chungus is approaching. That's not what you want to see. The missiles come raining down just as our building dies. Yeah, this is going to go bad real quick. Look at how many fangs these guys spawn. There's just no need. There's just an, un an unnecessary amount of fangs. And so we are going to drop. We still end a lot of supply, though. 621 supply here. That's pretty good. Ritz is going to get to farm up the rest, but that's okay, man. It's actually Yellow who's going to take the lead here, then. Okay. So Elite Maxman almost certainly going to come out this round. We'll have a lot more supply to play with. Uh, I'm guessing we're just going to go for whatever's big here and just sell it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, dude. All right, man. I think that at this point, Zerg Heist, you've more than earned forgiveness for buying the one pack of crawlers at the start. They were probably a necessary evil. I love that every unit we get on the drop, you just know it's going to be a sell. And we're going to have more than enough cash this time to pick up Elite Marksman. And still have some money left over to Elite Recruit as well. 1,200 supply left. Bam. There it is. That might be the thumbnail right there, dude. Oh my god. Can we still Elite Recruit even more? Where are we? No. Oh, screw it, dude. Borrow money. Just borrow money, man. Make it happen. We've got to triple buy every round. No. No, dude, we upgrade the tanks. Are you kidding me? Oh, the replay's ruined, man. The replay's ruined. Oh, man. Okay, I really thought that we'd borrow cash there, but amen. We're planning for the future, right? Okay, let's speed along. Ooh, how uniform our formation is here with the Maxman, by the way. I going to point out that these tanks on the right side are a little bit further up than these guys. That's annoying. And now that I've seen that, I can't unsee it. But okay. Look at the utter revisceration on these guys. So we'll get the building kills nice and quickly as well. That's good. I guess I'll watch more on the left side this time because we have more guys going over there. 
Try and catch a little bit of what's going on on the right side, but I mostly want to see how a Maxman maybe get to steal some kills on these giant units. Now they have a late Maxman, it's just ungodly unreal damage. Ooh, it actually gets hacked. Okay. Then we get the snipe. Absolute amalgam of units coming in on the right side over there. So our boys on this side, not going to last so long. And that means our building on the bottom here is also going to die. But nice. It looks like we clear up everything on that other side before that's going to go down. Lots of maxman shooting at this guy, but with building debuff, they just about get it down in time. Oh my god, even with building debuff, these guys are actually going to hold, right? I think they actually hold. They just got to get all the air units dead and the Vulcan will take care of the rest that's on the ground. And it looks like that is exactly what is going to happen. There's a hacker over here. It's not going to hack a whole lot, though. It will eventually just get toasted. Oh my god, it won't get toasted. It's going to get the hack. I thought the Vulcan was attacking it, man. I was wrong. Okay, they go ahead and deal with that. Bit of a problem over here now, then. Suddenly, without the Vulcan on side, it looks like we will not have enough firepower over here. And so this is Green's army? It's all green again, man. Ooh. I have no idea how these battles end, remember, by the way. For all I know... We never win another round ever again. I hope it doesn't go down like that. Oh my god, deployment specialist was an option. Sekais knows exactly what he's got to do, man. He makes the correct decision. You know what we need? We need a highlight to select like 10 units at once and just one big upgrade button. Just saying, Mechabellum devs, that would be great. That would be awesome. Purely for situations like this. <laughs> just to be fair, how often does this happen? But you know what I mean. Okay, upgrades on everything. Dude, most of these guys are level 6s and 7s now. It's just kind of glorious. Love to see it. Okay. So we have a lot of money, right? 908 supply still left to go. And we've at least... This is the thing now. Oh my god. We have to just fill out this line, at least. We don't have a choice. I think that once that this uh, full second line of Maxman is fully built out... Then it becomes acceptable from like an OCD, like light OCD standpoint to build some of the units if we want to, you know. I don't know that Sergeis will actually do that. He's a madman, you know. But I'm just saying, like, the formation's complete with three more. Three more maxmen, you know. Did we save money that round? No, we didn't. We have eight pence left. Okay. Well, all right, dude. A more maxmen going to solve our problems. Might also be worth, by the way, getting a mobile beacon and just pulling all of these maxmen to this left side. Keep them all together. Uh, might be totally worth doing. And then just buffing up this building health by a lot in the later rounds. Because these guys are getting really stuck hitting fangs. And these are shielded fangs too, so they're taking a long, long time to bring down. Ugh. And the range on these overlords is crazy as hell. And so our guy's going to die over here. And the building's going to fall shortly after as well. How's our pod over here doing? These rates are still just spam producing units. Got to get this one dead at least. Oh, the building drops. We're debuffed as hell. I think we still might have the damage to pull it off. Looks like we just about do. Thankfully, these guys are now pushing ahead of their fangs, which is really, really good news for us because we at least get the phoenixes dead. Shoot her. Oh... Oh god, finish the overlords! Okay, maybe we can actually hold against this now. Oh god, oh gee, okay, never mind. Green is coming in hot. This is just too many fangs. We're gonna end up with like one or two maxmen left alive at the bottom here by the time these guys get here, I swear. They're just gonna take too long to kill these fangs off. And now we're starting to melt up on the top side. Oh god, I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this. It's a valiant, valiant effort. But can we even kill any big unit over here? Oh god, green's gonna get so many victory points here, dude. Okay, it's not quite enough to take the win. That's gonna have to do for now. Man, is there anything we can pick to stop green? We just need to swat green, man. Wow, okay, we just go for the cell over that. To be honest, by the way, double shot uh, is actually quite excellent here on these maxmen for killing off the shielded units. I do think that it's high time that we push that button. Um, it will help us kill off the fangs a lot faster, right? A hell of a lot faster. But it will also increase the reload time. But I don't think that that's a big price to pay, to be honest. Mass upgrades, mass upgrades. The game actually lags when I click on the first maxman now, because they just have so many stats, and of course we're just going to quad, re quad recruit. <laughs> Yet more maxman did. Okay. Uh, enhanced range, high mobility button. Oh, there's the goddamn double shot. Okay, so we do go for the double shot. 
Let's see what kind of difference it makes. Oh, so many shielded fangs over here, man. You know, I almost feel like maybe just going incendiary bomb on the Vulcan and just plonking the Vulcan, like, here. Just right here, so it just sprays fire over here and just kills all these fangs right off the get-go. Would even, would like actually be a pretty good use of, uh, of the Vulcan, honestly. Either way, man, this is second last round. If anything happens, it can't, it can't be green winning. That's the only thing that matters. In fact, I'm going to try and capture as much of the battlefield as I can here. I kind of don't want to miss either side on this occasion. Maxmen are now engaging with the fangs. Pick them off pretty quickly with the double shot now, at least. They don't have to worry as much about the barriers. Left side, we're just shredding everything. Left side is really not a problem at all. That's totally grand for us. Ooh, there's not really any fangs left alive, man, after Green had to deal with the experimental wraiths on this side. And so now everything just gets utterly slaughtered and massacred in a glorious, glorious blaze of fire. Now it's a hell of a lot of Mustangs to deal with. And the double shot actually does the opposite of helping us against these guys. Slowing down the reload speed against the Stangs is really not what you want. It's a lot of overlap of fire as well. But you know what? We're going to lose, like, what, one Maximum here? Really didn't lose a whole lot, man. These guys are not even going to get into range. Dude, this is going to be a pretty steep win for us, man. Problem is, we've got to do it again next round as well, because this is not going to be enough points for us to pull this off. Look at this absolute squad, dude. Absolute squad of nerds and freaks that we fielded today, man. Dude, it's not... It's not... We've only got to win by a little bit. Just a smidgen of a win. Mobile beacon player here could be really, really big. It could be really, really big. I mean, first things first. I hope that you uh, hope that you get your APM on, Seg Heist, because we have a hell of a lot of upgrades to do here. A hell of a lot indeed. How many have we actually purchased here? Screw it, I'll count it for the thumbnail. I ain't gonna stop here and count in the middle of this. It's a lot. Okay. Thing is, are we just gonna recruit more? Yeah, I mean, I I genuinely feel like um. Drop a Vulcan over here with fire upgrade, like incendiary bombs. Bomb all of these guys out of the game right away. Um, plus range button. Honestly, even the defense enhancement is probably worth it, even though it's just like an army of marksmen. It's still probably worth it because it's only 100 supply. And then also mobile beacon and just take these guys like this way. Perhaps. That would perhaps be the play that I think I'd go for. Just because we are stomping this side pretty comfortably. Okay. Well, here we go, man. We did drop a missile over here. Maybe that'll get to connect on some of the chaff on that side. Let's see how that goes. It all really depends on how green can deal with these death knells. Right? A lot depends on that. Looks like most of our maxmen are going to the right side on this occasion. Lured by the scent of battle against these death knells. We really just want the death knells to live and kill as many fangs as possible. The fangs are actually our biggest enemy right now. Once again, this left side, we just absolutely slaughter everybody, which is great. Sadly, we are killing off the death knell, which is not exactly the best thing, but oh my god. Dude, there's not many fangs left alive, though. And this huge wad of stangs over here is actually doing a lot to help us out on that front as well. This is going really, really good. The Vulcan is going to drop, and so now we just have an army of literally maxmen, and that's it. Same thing on this side, minus two tanks over there as well, but... We're just not going to look at those guys for the time being, because frankly, this is where the battle really, really counts. We've got to win at least somewhat steeply here, and you know what? Oh my god, we've got more than enough firepower to do this. Who am I fooling, man? I just panned out, so there's actually just very, very little chaff left alive. These maxmen, there's no hope in hell. They, these guys aren't even elite maxmen, dude. They need to get back to maxman school. Look at this. Easy. Not even hard in the end, dude. Are you kidding me? Hey. That was a hell of a spectacle. Thanks so much for submitting this one, Sergeist. Dude, I can't resist. I gotta count. Oh my god, dude. 31 Maxman. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Hey man, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help to support the channel, support future videos, it would mean a hell of a lot to me if you were to sign up to Raid using my promo link, which is down below at the top of the video description. Go ahead, click on that link, sign up to Raid, it takes 60 seconds, is completely free, and helps to support me to continue blasting videos like this one on this channel. Thanks so, so much guys to anybody who does choose to do that. Hey, and thanks for watching too. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and hit like before you go. Helps out the channel a lot as well. And I'm going to catch all of you guys just a tad bit later, man.